Shalom, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, the double honors the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, that taught us his word. Uh, I just got this article out of the mirror, um, entitled UFO Spotter Captures Photo of Huge Flying Disc Hiding Behind an Erupting Volcano. Uh, you know, that's a beautiful thing. Um, because that's one of the signs of the times, you know. You know chariots revealing themselves more and more um this was dated i guess january 11th 2023 um but yeah you know some guys you know captured a, a chariot within a erupting volcano and you know a lot of these chariots you know had their role all throughout history even going back to the, the actual creation in Genesis, you know, um, but it says, uh, Carla Garcia's boyfriend, Luis Guerrero, snapped a photo of what appears to be a flying disc over the Popocate Patel, uh, volcano, a renowned UFO hotspot. A man believes he has seen a UFO hiding behind an erupting volcano. And the huge disc it just hovers there despite the bubbling lava and spewing rocks. Uh, the photo shows the 10,000 foot volcano with the plume of smoke drifting lazily from its crater. And just to the right, a distinctly disc shaped object. Um, as the Daily Star reports, the image was shared on social media by Luis's, Luis's girlfriend. Uh, so I guess here's the the chariot. There's the the volcano, the smoke, and there's the the chariot. He said it was just hovering there, you know. But you know that's that's gonna be the elect salvation. So that's a beautiful thing when we see these chariots, whether it be at camp or whether you be at your house or wherever at work, and you see a chariot, that definitely you know lifts up your spirits. Oh. You know? Uh, the UFO was hiding just behind the plume of smoke rising from an active volcano. Unfortunately, Carla only uploaded one image of the extraordinary sight to social media, so it's hard to get a sense of how fast the mysterious object might have been moving. So I guess in this area, this area is known for UFO sightings and alien encounters. So chariot and sightings are active in that area, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, these chariots have been around forever. You know, they're going to, the scriptures talk about them being a curse unto the earth. But, you know, it's going to be the salvation for the elect, <clears throat> you know. We look forward to that day. Uh, first, because there's an uh, exodus, this is because there was a chariot that led the Israelites out of Egypt, you know, that, yeah, this is Exodus, uh, I'll start at 18, Exodus 13 and 18, but the Most High led the people, uh, led the people about through the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea, and the children of Israel went up, harnessed out of the land of Egypt, and Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, where he had straightly sworn the children of Israel, saying, the Most High will surely visit you, and you shall carry up my bones away hence with you. And they took their journey from Sukkoth, and encamped in Etham, in the edge of the wilderness. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud, and led them the way, <clears throat> and by night in a pillar of fire, to give them light to go by the day and the night. He took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people. Yeah, so, you know, Lord Shai was in that chariot, you know, leading Israel, guiding them through the wilderness. So it looked like a cloud. They, they, they called it a cloud by day. And like a pillar of fire by night, because he had the little lights. So it looked like a pillar of fire, you know, at night. Kind of like this image right here. Uh... Yeah, so 
during the Exodus, the chariots were there. And then the chariots, what Yahushai went, Yahushai was, uh, went up into after, you know, he, he died on that cross and was risen. <clears throat> he went up into the heavens, you know, in a chariot. Uh, Acts 1 and 8 oh sorry 7 and he said unto them it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the father hath put in his own power but you shall receive power yeah so we don't know when the world's going to return you know only the most I knows but you shall receive power after the Holy Spirit is come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me in both Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and also other more uttermost parts of the earth and when he had spoken these things well they beheld he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel and had two angels and said which also said ye men of Galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven this same Yahushai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So when Yahushai comes back, he's going to come back in a, in a chariot. You know, he was taken up in a chariot after you know, he was resurrected. After he died and came back to life. Um, and was taken up into heaven in a cloud, in a chariot. And when he comes back, you know, when the Lord sends him back, he's going to come back in a chariot, you know. And that's how the, the the elect will be delivered as well. So that's why we get excited, you know, when we see these chariots. Um, so, Revelation 11, 11, And after three days and, and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, and they stood upon their feet. And great fear fell upon them, which saw them, yeah, that, that prophecy came to pass, and they three. Three days and a half, 350 years, um, from 1619 up to about roughly 1970, about 350 years from when we were, you know, when we were put to sleep, you know, in slavery, captivity, and we didn't know who we are. You know, roughly around 1970, that's when, you know, Albert Bivens came on the scene and was, started pushing this truth out, you know, up until today, you know, camps all over the place. Um, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. Now, you know, we're still waiting on this prophecy right here to come to pass. When Yahushua comes back, you know, the elect is going to get beamed up into a chariot, you know. And their enemies beheld them. You know, in that same hour, there was a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, and... In the earthquake were slain 7,000 men, and the remnant were frightened and gave glory to the power of heaven. Yeah, you know, that same hour, you know, those missiles are going to drop, right? When the elect's getting beamed up, those missiles are going to hit. And the 10th part of the city fell, you know, completely, you know, all of America is going to be destroyed from the east coast to the west coast. It's going to create a great earthquake, and all those nuclear missiles hitting, touching down. It said, and in the earthquake were slain 7,000 men, a yeah, complete number. Yeah, everyone that's standing on the soils of America in that day is going to gonna die now. It's going to get caught up in that lake of fire. And the remnant's going to look down the elect that gets beamed up. You know, they're going to be afraid. They're going to be looking down and seeing that lake of fire. But at the same time, they're going to give glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai because they, you know, they were delivered. And Lord willing, you know, we're, we're all part of that number. Uh, the last scripture is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. And shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as has as have afflicted him and made no account of his labor. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangers of his, of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for, that strangers of, 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 of his salvation. It's a strange thing, you know, getting beamed up. No one has ever seen that before. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and the enemies beheld them. The enemies saw them. You know, and they repented and groaned for anguish of spirit 
shall say within themselves, This was he who we had sometimes in derision, no problem, no reproach. Yes, that enemy is beholding. The enemy is seen, you know, the elect one beamed up. And they're asking, Is he, he's, these are the elect? These are these guys who we had a problem of reproach? Who, you know, we discriminated against? We killed? We lynched? These are the men? We fools account his life madness and his end to be without honor. How is he numbered among the children of the Most High and his lot among the saints? Yes, yeah, our enemies beheld him. You know, the elect getting beamed up, as we just read in Revelation 11. Then they set up to heaven in a cloud. So, yeah, you know, just another example, another article, story, current event. You know, the chariots are showing themselves. That's how we know we're closer and closer to the end as well, man. Yeah, I just wanted to bring out this article. Uh, and with that, you know, shalom on.